Hi, welcome back. Let's look at cell references. There's two main types of cell re references, relative and absolute. Here I'll give you an example of relative first, and relative means that the cells move when you're copying the formula. This is what we use most. So for click-through rate, it's just the clicks divided by the impressions uh, times 100. All right, so there's my click-through rate. You notice it's the impressions times the clicks. If I use the fill handle and drag it down, it continues that way because my formulas move because I had a relative cell address. Now let's look at a different kind called an absolute. This one I want to compa uh, compute my pay, but I want the cell references to remain constant. I want to multiply hours times my pay rate, but I want to keep the pay rate constant. So you put in an equal sign and you can um, put a dollar sign before the B and a dollar sign before the 18. This changes B18 into an absolute cell address and then just times the eight hours. All right, so eight times 12.5 is 100. And I could copy this formula down and you see the formula would still uh, give the absolute reference back to my pay rate. There's an even easier way that I wanted to show you really quick. If when I click on uh, B18 and then I hit the F4 key, notice that it automatically puts in the dollar signs for me and then just times my hours. And again, I could drag that down. But notice that it always refers back to this absolute cell because I had it remain constant. There's one special case, which we call a mixed, which means you put the dollar sign either before the column or the row. In this case, I want to put the column before the row, uh, the dollar sign before the row, so I can drag it over. I'm trying to compute my revenue because I have my costs and I have my sales. So in the first one, I'm going to do my cost times how many I sold. Again, I want to go across uh, the column, so I'm going to put my dollar sign in front of the B, but I'm not going to put one in front of the 31. This will allow me to drag and drop it over, and you notice I'm always referring back to my costs because the column was frozen. What it will do for me by only using one is now I can drag this whole thing down, and it will copy down it all right. So instead of entering nine formulas, I entered one with all the uh, mixed cell reference. All right. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon. Please leave a comment below.